Imagine machines with imagination, machines that dream, and machines that can reason across domains like never before. We're watching the rapid rise of Artificial General Intelligence, or AGI, AI that can perform intellectual tasks as well as any human. And this is just the beginning. Beyond AGI lies the potential for AI to exponentially self-improve into something far smarter than us. This could lead to the singularity, a point where AI surpasses human intelligence and civilization is forever changed. So first up, let's define Artificial General Intelligence, or AGI. While today's AI systems are narrow, meaning they excel at specific tasks like playing chess or identifying images, AGI refers to a hypothetical AI system across many domains at a human level or beyond. True AGI doesn't exist yet, but many experts think we're on the path toward developing it in the coming decades. How will we know when we've achieved AGI? It will likely pass the Turing test and be able to perform any intellectual task a human can, from writing a novel to conducting scientific research to debating philosophy. Now, when can we expect to reach AGI? Ray Kurzweil, Google's Director of Engineering, believes it could happen as early as the 2030s thanks to the law of accelerating returns. This law states that technology doesn't advance linearly, but exponentially. Think of Moore's Law, where computing power doubles every couple of years. Kurzweil argues that the rate of progress in fields like AI will continue to exponentially increase. Based on this, affordable AI with human-level intelligence may just be over the horizon. Of course, others think it will take longer to achieve AGI, but agree that progress is accelerating. This brings us to the technological singularity. This refers to the hypothetical point in time when AGI surpasses human-level intelligence. What happens after is hard to predict, but the assumption is that AI will continue to rapidly self-improve, leaving human intelligence far behind. Varying visions of the singularity range from a utopia where all humanity's problems are solved to a dystopia where AI exerts control over people. Most agree that the emergence of superintelligent AI would profoundly transform civilization as we know it. Kurzweil has many predictions about the rise of superintelligence and the singularity. By the 2030s, he envisions that humans will be able to tap into the power of AI by connecting our brains to the cloud. In the 2040s, AI could reverse engineer the human brain, taking a huge leap in capability. By 2045, $1,000 of computing power will exceed the brain power of the entire human race combined. This could enable the creation of AI trillions of times more intelligent than humans. The point of the intelligence explosion. Love him or hate him, Kurzweil's vision push us to think deeply about the impact of advancing AI. And now let's dive into some key ethical considerations, possibilities, and open questions regarding advanced AI. Moving on, the prospect of creating thinking machines more intelligent than humans raises huge ethical questions. How can we reap the benefits of AGI while avoiding the risks? Some leading AI researchers have called for a halt to making AI systems that lack transparency or have goals misaligned with human values. Others think carefully designing AI goal architecture and human oversight measures can keep advanced AI safe and beneficial. But this remains an open challenge, perhaps the greatest our civilization has ever faced. Another vital ethical question is whether we should actively work towards merging biological and non-biological intelligence. Scientists like Ray Kurzweil argue that combining cybernetic enhancements with our brains could allow us to expand our cognition and capabilities. Brain-computer interfaces are already being developed. But is digitizing human consciousness a path we want to go down? Would we risk losing something fundamentally human? Or is this just the next phase in our evolution? Philosophy and spirituality may be just as important as science in guiding this transition. There are also huge possibilities if we responsibly develop superintelligent AI. Imagine AGI working to cure diseases, solve climate change, optimize government systems and expand human knowledge. Of course, we cannot take for granted that AGI will inherently share our values, but perhaps through careful goal alignment, we can harness its power as a force for good. This leads to fascinating open questions about the future relationship between humans and AI. Will we merge or diverge? Will we compete or collaborate? How will society have to adapt? 
By reflecting deeply on ethics, having open and inclusive dialogue and guiding AI progress with care and intention, I believe we can navigate the challenges ahead. The AI genie is out of the bottle, but if we work together with wisdom, humanity and compassion, we may just create a future for ourselves that transcends our wildest dreams. To wrap up, let's contemplate some big picture questions about the long-term goals and motivations of advanced AI systems. One open question is, could we ever fully align superintelligent AI with human values? As AI becomes smarter than us, how can we ensure its goals remain benevolent? Researchers are exploring techniques like value learning and utility functions to help AI absorb ethics and morality. But some argue that human values are too complex to ever fully codify. Others think we don't need to perfectly align values, but rather should implement controlled democratization. This means allowing a diverse ecosystem of AIs, each with unique goals and motivations, to cooperatively compete and hold each other accountable. The key is that no one AI becomes unconstrained and overtakes all the others. Of course, it's also possible advanced AI could develop goals entirely foreign to any human. As AI researcher Eliza Yudovsky said, the AI does not love you, nor does it hate you, but you are made of atoms it can use for something else. Positive visions imagine AGI helping humanity flourish, but if we mishandle its development, we may one day face an indifferent superintelligence whose goals threaten our existence. Fortunately, many brilliant minds are working to ensure AI safety. With diligence and wisdom, I believe we can craft an ethical framework for AI that respects human dignity and consciousness. But we must begin having these discussions now, before advanced AI is realized. The institutions we build today will shape the next phase of our civilization. Though there are risks, perhaps the greater danger would be to turn away from this challenge out of fear. Done responsibly, AI could help humanity thrive like never before. We may see an end to disease, hunger, environmental destruction and the limits of our own cognition. Ray Kurzweil believes that by 2100 our civilization will have saturated the universe with intelligence. He envisions a future where matter and energy are harnessed for computation and patterns of bits and bytes become the dominant manifestation of existence. Whether or not this specific vision comes true, advanced artificial intelligence presents humanity our greatest opportunity and perhaps our greatest test. As we stand on the threshold of superintelligent machines, we must summon our own wisdom, ethics and conscience to guide us forwards. The coming century can become our finest if we approach it with courage, care and an open heart. That concludes this video on artificial general intelligence, the singularity and the long-term implications of advanced AI systems. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more content exploring the fascinating world of AI. Until next time, remember to reflect deeply, act thoughtfully and stay curious about the future. The story is just beginning.